Welcome to a new episode of my Godot introduction series. My name is Andy and in this uh, tutorial we will start animating our character. And we've been creating this um, character here with um, some movement and so we can control him. And in the last tutorial we have started to create our visual character which will replace the uh, cube there. So therefore we have created this character sprite scene where we have our G-Bot. We've set up all the um, sprites and the tree hierarchy and in this video we will start animating him. So, um, when we want to start animating we have to select the animation player node. If you haven't one, just assign a, an animation player node here and you will uh, see this panel here where you see the anima animations we have created and um, with this button we can edit the animations. <coughs> now uh, for this uh, um, tutorial we will start creating an run, a run animation, an idle animation, a jump up animation and a jump, jump down animation. And we will start with the uh, run animation. So we press the new button, call it run, and you see that we have now a new animation. I would uh, recommend to create a base animation where you um, key um, all your rest positions. So once you have moved something, um, so you can uh, still get to the init position and then just select the base animation and play it and you will see that all uh, bones will reset to its original po position. Okay, now we will select the run um, animation and start editing it. So therefore we will press uh, that, that um, icon here, that pencil icon, and you see that all properties now get a key next to them. So this means everywhere where you, where you see a key this property can be animated and this is almost any property. So you can even animate um, um, that a sprite can get replaced and make very very complex animations with that tool. Um, we will only use the bones here and the transformation of the bones for, for our animations now but you can animate visibility you can even animate um, or call functions so you can go to the um, tracks here and say, say add call function track and now you can press the plus sign and uh, give it a name and if, if we have um, created a script with functions, we can um, call that functions in the script from the script. So then we ch say, let's say we have a function jump. Now just say jump. If it takes arguments, you can give give it a, an argument, and um, you can um, call call an animation uh, or a function that way. So Godot's animation system is very powerful, and we will start now with the run animation. So therefore we will create um, the extreme positions. So first of all we will take that bone, rotate him. So by just selecting um, the foot we will place the complete leg and by control clicking uh, the foot we can rotate it. So we just have to use um, that, bu that button here and just set, set the leg where, where we want it to be and then rotate it. Now this one will be at the back here, so we will create an extreme position. Now since the left leg is, uh, is uh, at the front, the right arm would, will be at the back. And this one will be, oh sorry, other way around. And you can also, um, I would even position it um, here. You won't see that in the, in the animation later. So, so that way. Now we will get that arm and push it to the back. Now let's rotate the upper body a little bit. Okay. So, this will be our first um, extreme position. Now let's select all the bones. 
if you use IK um, kinematic, you just uh, need to select the the child node, and it will key all the other uh, bones here too. So we will just select the foot and the arms and the head. Okay, and now just press the key here, and this will create in uh, 26 new tracks. So for location and rotation, and you see it here. Now we will jump to the um, to 0 0.5 and create the other extreme pose. Oops. So this will be that f uh, foot in the front. Reposition it. This one will be at the back. Okay. This will stay that way. This one will go to the back. And that one will go to the front. So. <coughs> Okay. Um, we can refine it later, so I think this will be okay for now. Now again, select the child nodes or the child bones, and let's press the um, key here. Okay, and now go to interpolate between these two um, key uh, frames, and you see this looks okay already. So now. Since this is a run animation, it has to loop, and um, we can set a new keyframe here, but we can just uh, enable it by looping, and go to interpolate by itself. So if we play, uh, play, press play, then this will play back, and you see we have a very basic run animation. Now let's refine it. So since um, he's going to run, we need it to look a little bit uh, better. So. We will rotate this down and uh, s oops, rotate and down. So this one will go up because he is uh, going to lift that leg, and he will also go up. So okay. Now let's key that bones. And see how it looks. Okay. Okay. <coughs> this looks not bad already. Now the same for the other direction. So now the other foot will go upwards and also he will push him okay so let's select the bones key them and we will see how it looks let's play it back Okay, it's a little bit slow, but it's okay, I think. Um, the the animation playback speed um, we can do later. So now let's give it give him a secondary motion so that his head um, bumps up and down. So and therefore we will just animate the head so he runs up uh, he gets up so his head will uh, follow um, or will go down a little bit so about here doesn't look too good. 
Okay, we, we will keep it for now. <coughs> okay, so um, animations are never done. You can always tweak um, the animations and but for this video tutorial I will keep it uh, as it is now and um, if you are not satisfied with the look you just have to tweak it further and then see how this works out later. So at a certain point you just have to stop and say okay this is okay for our purpose and um, uh, move on with the next animation. So this will be the idle animation. <coughs> We save the project. Now let's create a new animation. Let's call it idle. And you see now that he has uh, uh, the set bones here. Therefore, you will just go to the base position or animation, reset everything, and go to the idle. So in the idle animation, he will just um, his chest will chest will just go up and down, and um, he will have a very slight motion. So therefore, we will first of all key that current position. key it, create 26 new tracks, OK. So, and now his body will move to the uh, to the front a little bit. Just very s subtle. And his legs will stay where they were, so about there. OK, now let's see if it fits and key the okay well, I think we have forgotten to key f a few bones so therefore we will reset it here and key them again okay so now you see the body moves uh, forward So his legs need to move a little bit, so they stay on the ground. Key it again, and now let's see. Okay, slightly upwards, about here. Again, a little, a little bit more. Okay. So, that's about it, okay? And now let's uh, loop it also. <coughs> and now we will move the arms up and down. So, this gives the, the look that he is breathing. So, okay, he's a robot, so he probably won't breathe, but just to give him a little bit more life and give him some motion. So, therefore, his, his uh, arms will move upwards. Just very... Uh, just very little. Okay. So, this will be our idle animation. Now, let's create the jump animation. Um, let's create a new one call it um, jump up so this will be played when the when our character velocity will be negative so he's moving upwards this animation will be played back once uh, the velocity is positive so he falls down we will play the jump down animation so this will give um, a very interactive jump behavior so if he moves up um, it will look a little bit different than when he jumps down and okay <coughs> so for upwards jumping we will just make it that way so
and his head will look up a little bit. Okay, so that's about it. Let's key all the bones. Create. So that's it for the up, um, jump up animation. And next will be the jump down animation. <coughs> So the jump down animation will start with that position, so we will keep that, just create a new animation, call it jump down. Now let's key it again, and this will go over to a, di uh, to a, to a different pose, so this leg will move upwards like that and the other leg will move downwards so he's preparing to for the landing since he's falling down um, his arms will go up a little bit and he will look down a little bit so like that Okay. So about that. And we will key it everything again. Just select the bones. Press the animation button. So that's uh, what it will look like. So he's jumping up, and once the, the velocity will push him down, he will go over to that animation. Okay, so now we have uh, created all our basic animations. For example, the run animation. Um, I think we will try to ex exager exaggerate it a little bit more. So he has a more extreme position. So like that. And here too. And this one too. Key it. Okay. It's a little bit slow now, but we can control this with with the playback later. Okay, we've created the run animation, the idle animation. This will be played back a little bit slower, so it is very subtle. Now we have the jump up animation and the jump down animation. And in the next tutorial we will start um hooking this up to our script and replace the character and I hope you will be there to see um, or to to go or to go combine uh, our character with our movement script and our physics character so thanks for watching and I hope you hope you learned something and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if not just leave it and I hope I see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.